Hi, my name is Miranda. I'm from Magical Bali TV, and today we're on the Meet Our Member sessions. And here I have with me is Sophie Amat, and um, let me ask her to tell you about herself first. So, Sophie. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for making the time to do this interview. So, um, would you like to tell the audience a little bit about you? Sure. Uh, let me see. I'm Sophie. I'm from New Zealand. I joined the Magical Bali Toastmasters and I really love being a part of the convivial and, you know, really progress-oriented group of people that come here. It's a lot of fun. I didn't realise Toastmasters was going to be so much fun. Did I say I'm from New Zealand? Yes, you I'm did. I'm from New Zealand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what, how did you first learn about Toastmasters? I learned about Toastmasters. Actually, I think it was through you, Miranda. I think oh, you were okay. actually just talking about it and you mentioned that you were involved in Toastmasters and something resonated. It was almost was like, I feel that public speaking is in my future. Ah, okay. Great. And I realized that there was this possibility seeded at that time to consider, hmm, yeah, I'd really love to learn more about public speaking and take it to the next level. So I was just open. Mm -hmm. And then when you mentioned Toastmasters, well, I felt that this could be something for me. So pretty basic, really. Yeah. So, so what was your first interaction or first uh, encounter with Toastmasters? I mean, you learned about Toastmasters from me and then you decided to come to check it out. Well, you know, um, I came from a career where everyone was encouraged to be part of a Toastmasters club. Ah, okay. I personally never joined. Yeah. It wasn't my thing, quote unquote. However, I got to say that my interest was piqued when I came here and I learned that, you know, Toastmasters could be something quite fulfilling. I actually do a lot of training <laughs> on a screen in front of, you know, many people. Mm, okay. And so I am actually presenting myself in a public way anyway. Mm -hmm. But what was missing was that, you know, this is about a topic that I'm really passionate mm -hmm. about. But Toastmasters is offering an opportunity to bring structure and interest and lightheartedness to public speaking, you know, where mm -hmm. you can actually be speaking in front of a diverse group of people and um, not necessarily people who know you or who are interested in your topic yeah. and that's something of extreme interest that um, I want to develop and go further uh, with. Yeah. yeah. Well that's great and um, so far you've, you've joined and then you've come to a few of the meetings mm -hmm. actually you've also given your first speech. I gave my speech. first speech. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about you know between your peak interest, your expectations and actually being a member what was your experience? What is your experience so far? Oh, my experience is it's hilarious. It's fun. It's just like a lot of fun. It's a very family oriented, encouraging environment. I feel that that's what I love the most about Toastmasters, Magical Bali Toastmasters. It really is an encouraging environment. Uh, the feedback, the evaluation, uh -huh. the care about, you know, you prepare a speech, so you kind of really want to know, right, mm -hmm. <laughs> how you did. Yeah. And I feel that there's a lot of care and attention from the evaluators to the Toastmasters, you know, who present on an evening. So for me, that's wonderful. I love feedback. I need feedback. That's how I'm going to improve and grow. So yeah. that's my experience. Mm -hmm. And then tonight, I'm going to be an evaluator, which is, you know, a first for me. So I'm kind of looking forward to that too. Wow, great. Um, I'm um, really celebrating your, your spirit, your enthusiasm, <laughs> and, and I... Hope people who watch this will also be piqued, be curious about what Toastmasters is about, and, and come join us and have a look. Come as a guest. So, any last words you would like to share, maybe to people out there who who have wanted to learn public mm. speaking or wanted to become a join, a curious about Toastmasters but never did. Sure. Anything about that? 
Mm. I would say to you, if you have any inkling of wanting to facilitate anything or present anything publicly or even to a small group of people, even your own family, you want to have confidence in presenting your ideas. So that's really broad. That could be if you wanted to pitch something for a business um, group or, you know, you're just passionate about sharing, you know, what you like in life and you know you see a sense of needing to influence other people I would say come along and join a Toastmasters group well I like this one here you know come join Magical Bali team oh <laughs> wow now I'm, I feel inspired yeah. just listening to you if I, if I, I, am I haven't joined yet I probably would be wanting to come so yeah. so thank you Sophie Welcome. for the time and uh, maybe we'll speak again a few months in the future yeah. and when you have been the Toastmasters a bit longer. Sure, I'd and love see to. see what, what came up, what you know, what you experienced since yeah. now. Yeah. Magical Bali Toastmasters rocks. You've got to come join here. This club. This club. <laughs> and by the way, this is the back. The background is the golf course in Sanor, in the Bali Beach Golf Course. And this is our venue, our meeting venue. So this is what we come to when we come to the meeting. So thank you for joining us and see you in our next episode. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.